Going on, friends and family. Wicked Wednesday. Wicked Wednesday and a giveaway. So all of you guys, come in here and invite some friends, please. What's going on, Sean, my brother, Sean Tier? I'm inviting some folks. If you guys will do the same, I appreciate it. If I've already, if you're in here and I've already invited you, you're double invited. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday, wicked Wednesday for us. You know how it is. If you're not a member of Flaming Pepper Chili Group, send us a uh, uh, request and we'll let you in there. It's uh, one of the best groups we got. So. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. We, we, uh, man, we had a tornado touchdown here on uh, Saturday. It was like less than a half a mile from my house. I was, you could hear the chainsaws working. You could hear the chainsaws working to cut up the mess. So by the grace of God, we got, we just barely missed it. All right, I'm done. Let's see who's in here. What's going on, everybody? Sean Deere, James Wilson, Mark, what's up, brother? Nick, what's happening? Val, what's going on? Corey, my brother, Belinda, my sister, what's happening, girl? Who else is Nick Barnes? Suzanne, Sean Red Wolf, you guys, check out his channel. Awesome guy, man. Awesome. And uh, he is actually, uh, I I believe, uh, Butch is his uncle, and I have tagged Butch in here. And these are his sauces we're going to review tonight. I guess they're sauces. I haven't opened up the box yet. It's right here. So you guys know what we do unboxings. Uh, Tasty Tuesday. Well, Belinda. That's right. It's Tuesday. It's not even Wednesday, is it? It's Tuesday. I'm one day ahead. But it is what it is. Duke, what's going on? Brother, anybody want any spices? Duke Iman is your best bet right there. He has got awesome stuff. He has infused salts, pepper infused salts, and infused peppercorns, and much more tinctures and tonight i am going to revisit his tincture yes made with love all right cool we got good people in here so please invite and share i'm gonna go ahead and get into this we're gonna do the drawing but we're not gonna do it till after i do my reviews so you're gonna have to stick around if you're in the drawing to get this tincture, I'll be sending it out to you. All right. So, everybody, this comes from <clears throat> Butch's Hot Stuff, Hot Sauces. Um, Butch, Butch Della Petro was kind enough to send this to us. Some of you were asking about this products. Some of you have never heard of these products, but you're getting ready to. All right, cool. So you guys check out um, Butcher's Hot Stuff, Hot Sauces, right here on Facebook. And get you some of this stuff. Because I know it's going to be good. There you go. You see it right there. That's right. Love the card, man. It's awesome. So, guys, get up with Butch here and get you some goodness. All right. So, 
I have a little piece of paper in here. We're going to see what this says. Guys, he's loading me up on sauces. I'm going to let you know this right now. He's loading me up. All right. Let's see. Well, it just says he wants me wanted me to tag him. So I tagged him. I put him in here. And hopefully he's in here. You guys, if he's in here, please give him a big welcome. Scott, what's going on? Corey. Brandon Peters, what's up, Dark? All right. Um so Hell's Fury, let's see, we're gonna get these out. He's telling me which ones are the hottest and which ones are the uh, least hot. So we're gonna break these out and we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see what we got. And then I'll look at the list and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do first when I'm blast. So this right here, ooh, ho, ho, is barbecue garlic. Check this out. Love the label. Look at that, guys. So this is his milder sauce. Bubble wrap. Hey. Cool. Then we have which is peach habanero. Gosh, that looks good, guys. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. More bubble wrap. What do we got here? All right, this will be the last. This is the Hell's Fury. Mm hmm. This has got it. five flames out of five. Do this one last. We want to give all the other products, all the other sauces, a decent review before we heat them up. Ooh, big bubble. Big bubble. And last but not least, we got here. Mm, this is another five flamer. This is Reaper's Revenge. Okay, we're going to do this one last. So they pretty much came out in order, as he said. All right. All right, Butch, you're awesome. And I want to, guys, check out Red Wolf, please. You will really dig his channel. And if it wasn't for Red Wolf, I wouldn't have found out about Butch and his products. Awesome guy. Awesome family. So it says, okay, the uh, the Hell's Fury is one of the hottest, uh, but with flavor. So you know, we flavor first. All right, the Reaper is second hottest. Okay, so we got it. Okay, we're gonna do it just like that. Uh, the barbecue. Um, has the heat with great flavor and the peach hog is fruity mm -mm -mm. with mild heat. So we're gonna crack these open and see what we got. All right, first of all, thank you all. Those of you who entered in the contest for this evening, these are the names that I have. You can see your name and your position and where you're at. All I asked is that you liked and shared and you tagged. And if you don't know how to tag, well, uh, all you do is type somebody's name in the comments. And that's, all, that's tagging. So, so I've got 14 of you. I'm going to do that after I try these sauces. All right. So let's go first. Let's see. We're going to go with, like in the order that he got them. Peach habanero. Yes. All right. This looks yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to bust any bottles open, so Let's see if we can't do this the easy way. Hey, hey. Right on off. All right, guys, look at this consistency of this sauce. Yep, not too thin, not too thick. Right, just right. 
This is a peach habanero. Peaches right off the bat. Mmm. If you like peaches, this is this is wonderful. I can rub this on my scalp. Mmm. Wow. You can smell the hops in the background. Definitely peach forward. Butch, you done some great stuff here, buddy. Good smelling. Consistency. Here we go. Oh, look at that beautifulness. Beautifulness. Opens up on the spoon, folks. Beautiful, beautiful. Peach right up front. And it's got mm, got nice pieces of mm, greatness in there. Wow. Awesome stuff right there, guys. You make sure you guys after we after this video go check out Butcher's Hot Stuff Hot Sauces right here on Facebook. Gotta get you some. This is I'm gonna tell you what guys I've had. I've had peach and I've had mango together. This is the best I've ever had. Straight up. I almost want to have to drink this whole bottle. But I won't. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. All right, guys. So please go check this out. And this is awesome. If it's not hot, to me, it's registering about a one. So good family sauce. Uh, good starter sauce. A um, little bit more heat than... For say Texas Pete, McKinley's. So great sauce for you, great sauce for your kids. Unless they're at least they're tiny, you don't want to give them any hot sauce, anyways. But if we got one of your kids, Dad, I want to try it. Mom, can I have some of that? Good stuff. All right. So next, we're going to do the barbecue. I love barbecue hot sauces. I love them. This is barbecue with garlic. It's also got a mild rating, so I'll tell you, I am totally impressed with this. I'm gonna have to use my knife on this one, guys. My old sog. I have to be careful, you know. You all remember last time, man? I cut the top right off one of these jokers. <laughs> I cut the whole. I broke the whole bottle and everything. How it goes. All right. So this is his barbecue garlic. And I am, oh, I can't wait to try this one. Oh, that's got a thicker consistency than the other one, folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to say before I forgot, this peach habanero would be great on just about anything, including your desserts, cheesecake, ice cream, yogurt, a shoe, a toenail, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A possum butt. All right, so this is barbecue garlic. We're going to crack this open. Let's see what we got here. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Let me go down and see what we got here. Who we have up in the house? Brad Magalot, what's up, my brother? Uh, who else we got here? Well, anybody else in here, you can love you and talk amongst yourselves like we always do. Oh, I see Kathleen in there. Thank you for coming in here. Jordan Mario. So I'm trying to scroll down on my POC, which is my piece of crap. 
I don't know, it's a brand new HP, but you guys know what I go through with this thing on thing. All right, here we go. Mm. Uh, tell you what. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, garlic. Blast right in, right in the nostril. Good, 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 good. So that's all I smell right now is garlic. I don't know what type of peppers you used. You now bring my glasses so I really can't see, but I could tell you I smell garlic up front. All right, here comes the pour. Now this is thicker than the other one. That's fine with me. That's right. That's right. Look at the color of this, guys. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. And you know what? It's actually a little bit darker than you guys are probably seeing in there. Yeah. Mm, opens up on the spoon. It really smell that garlic. Oh. So not only did I spill that on myself, but that is some tasty sauce right there, guys. So you would think garlic, smokiness, I could taste this on your favorite beef, your pork, your chicken, seafood, heat. I believe this is either equivalent to the peach, mango, I mean, peach, peach habanero. Did I say queech? What the hell is a queech? Um, peach habanero. Or maybe a little bit under because I'm not really getting any burn off of it. So it's at least equivalent to that. It's mild, like he said. But it's a great flavor. There's chunks of garlic in here. Now, if I don't stop, I'm going to end up doing drinking this whole bottle right now. Ah, ribs. Gosh, I'm already. Butch, where have you been all our lives? Well, that is like yumminess, heavenliness in a bottle. I've had quite a few sauces, which these are awesome, bud. These are awesome. They're up there with everybody else. Okay. Ready for the next one? Reaper. Let's go for the Reaper. Reaper's Revenge. Everybody knows Carolina Reaper. Well, used to be the hottest pepper in the world. I don't know if it is anymore or not. I know that the Red Reaper is chocolate Reaper. I did that. But there's a few more out there. And uh, I'm not going to name Y'all know what they are. All right. So, guys, this is the Reaper's Revenge. Might I say that all of these bottles get a 10 out of 10 on this labeling. He's got little stories on the back that if I wasn't. Wait a minute. I might be there to read it. There, if y'all can read it at the same time I do. So, one day, my grandson. Tim came over to make hot sauce. After cooking up a batch, I tasted it. And it was like putting a blowtorch in my mouth. Ha <laughs> ah, well ha! We live for that. But we like flavor too, so. So, what did I say? Uh, it was then that I realized there has to be a better way to enjoy hot sauce. Feeling inspired? 
I went right to work like a mad scientist to create a flavorful product that everyone can enjoy. You are about to taste a perfectly seasoned hot sauce that goes with just about anything. Tim thinks it was still, well, Tim thinks he is still number one, but every time he, vis he, he visits, he leaves with several bottles. Well, that tells you right there. Tim. <laughs> Yeah, you got outdone, but you got outdid. You got outdone, and I'd be proud to say that I got it outdone by my uncle. Guys, here we go. Reaper's Revenge. Beautiful pour. I smell garlic in here too. Smell that Reaper. Not too overpowering, though. That's a great combination. I'm going to tell you, it's a great combination. You know, sometimes you crack the bottle open, all you do is smell the pepper. All you do is smell what's been added to it. This is perfect. Perfect addition. Great smell on the spoon. And there's a lot of sauces. They smell good in the bottle. Tastes like crap. They smell like poo on a spoon. The same one of them. There's a sweetness right up front. A sweetness. Got the Reaper flavor. The sauces. Let's revisit this for a second, please. Let's see if we can see what kind of ingredients he has in this. Is this it? All right, there you go. See, Carolina Reaper, number one. Bam! Habaneros. Yes, Serranos. Jalapenos. Organic garlic. I told you I was tasting garlic in there. Red pepper flakes. Garlic powder. Sea salt. Black pepper. Is that tomatoes? Yes. Organic vegetable stock, carrots, onions, celery. So, I've had quite a few Reaper sauces. Brad Yule's F bomb. And this right here. Excuse me. From Butch's two top favorites. This is excellent, guys. You have to get some Reaper heat. This is about, let me taste it again, because you guys know me. I've got a decent tolerance. I don't have a super high tolerance. But you know, you guys know how I roll. Let me let me check this up again real good because I want to get the heat to me. It's probably getting around a two or say, so, but let's let's amp it up a little bit. We're going to drink a little bit more of this, and we're going to see if we can't amp it up a little bit. Yeah, it's great sweetness. Then Reaper flavor. Beautiful garlic, it all goes together. There's nothing one is overpowering the other, it's just all one beautiful mixture. Heat wise, I'm gonna tell you guys, heat wise, this would be good for a lot of you that are not super hot pepperheads. It's hitting me, it's a little a bit of a tongue burn. A little bit in the back of the throat. You know how Reapers do. So heat-wise, I'll give it a two and a half. Okay? Great Reaper sauce, guys. I could drink this. Not worry about cramps at all. Great garlic flavor. Great sweetness from this. 
not overpowering with heat. It's perfect for the family. Go give it to your little chitlins. Don't don't do that. But so guys, I really su suggest you get some of this. Now the difference between this and the F bomb, the F bomb's got way, way more heat. Okay. So it's not for everybody, and you all know that. Brad will tell you that himself. This guy's I'm getting a little bit more burning on my tongue. It's definitely a two and a half. Definitely two and a half. On my scale. Now, on a non chili head scale, it's probably about a friggin' seven, and that'll be gonna be run to the bathroom to boot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't set you wrong. I wouldn't set y'all wrong. You guys know me. But you got some awesome stuff, man. I really appreciate you sending me all of this product that you did. So, guys, the next one we got going on here is the Hell's Fury. Now, before I do that, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to see who's in here so I can say hi to everybody. Well, it looks like, let's see here. James, what's going on, my brother? Good, James. You, you need to, buddy. A any one of those products, you'll love them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It almost tastes like the peach one. It almost tastes like an amped up peach schnapps, man. That's such a real good. I could drink that whole bottle. And I may just do it before this video is over with. Okay. Last but not least. Hell's Fury, okay? He says this is his hottest. So, I think that's what he said. Yeah, the Hell's Fury is one of the hottest. But with flavor. We always say, flavor before heat. Oh, before I do this, I just want to stop and say, have y'all guys got you any of this yet? Hmm? Have any of you? You guys know what's out on the market. You got to get some. I'm telling you, you have to. It's pure awesomeness. Red Yules, Lil Lamb's, Lil Lamb's steak sauce, spicy steak sauce, named after his grandson, Liam. And I, this bottle's almost completely gone. And Brad, I need some of this, man. I need some of this stuff. Because I've almost finished this bottle. I've been babying this bottle. You wouldn't believe. Oh, man. I've been babying it. Look at the color of this. Hmm. Worcestershire. First, first scent. Garlic. Onion. Loveliness. Salt. Pepper. Speaking of pepper... That's, that that rings right around it too, guys. For steak sauce? Are you kidding me? But look what it's got. Yeah, I know you guys are probably sick of me seeing me do this. Right there in the back. What you see there? Oh, there's my name. Son of a gun. And the name of my spice. Habeas Corpse. Wow. That's right. It's got my spices in it, so you got to get you some. <clears throat> Gotta get you some. All right, here we go with the last bottle. Hell's Fury. Hell's Fury coming our way. Got it? Got it. Y'all got it? There it is. Don't you? If you don't get you some, you're really missing out. Really missing out. And like I said, guys, check out Duke. I'm in page, you guys know. 
He is the awesomeness <clears throat> spice maker in the whole wide world ever and universe. Brad Yules, B Red Hot Sauces. And gotta check out Red Wolf. I was turned on to Red Wolf a while back from a friend of mine. I was like, no, nah, I never heard of Red Wolf. And I'll tell you what, some of my f my best, happiest, laughingest moments were watching Red. He is freaking awesome, guys. All right, here we go. Hell Fury. Okay, so right off the bat, we're gonna look. At, we're gonna look. We're gonna read. I'm smelling garlic, real strong off of this. All right, so I think this is probably most. Yeah, this is pretty much a standard thing he's got on size. So I'm not worried about that. All right, because we all know this stuff is good. But let's see what we got here. Habaneros, Carolina Reapers, Bootsalokia. Well, we all know what that is, right? That's the ghost of Peppa. Uh, Trinidad Scorpions. I love. I just love Scorpion Peppers. Yellow Maruga is one of my favorites. And I'll tell you guys, I had a, I'm having a hard time this year growing those yellow marugas. There it is, garlic, pacao. Yep, onion powder, garlic, pepper flakes, sea salt, black pepper. Yes, tomatoes, organic vegetable stock. Pow, strong. Garlic flavor, so, I mean, smell right up front. That's the first thing I smell. But it's not the only thing I smell. Because I can smell those peppers in there. <sighs> mm. Arg, arg. Mm. Here we go. Thank you, Butch. Awesomeness, man. Awesomeness. Thank you, Red, for turning me on to this stuff. Oh, man. It's just a complete meld of everything I just explained to you. There's no one fragrance that comes out of that. Except for love. If love had a fragrance, that would be it. Now, we're going up on spicy here. We're going up on the heat. It's already past the two and a half, Butch. Already past the two and a half. That's a three. That's a three. I can feel it. You guys right here. Tongue burn. Up front. Rip burn. That's them Reapers. Robbie Saunders, what's happening, brother? Ronald, what's going on? Thank you for joining, y'all. Yeah, that uh, whew, that's good, and that's that's right at about a three right now. Let's see if we can't amp it up a little bit. Oh, it's chunk. It's got some chunks in it, guys. Uh. I'm in heaven. This is great. This is this is some of the best stuff I've I've had hot. I've had good tasting with no heat. This is a combination of both guys. This is great flavor, good heat. The heat's coming up right now. My tongue is smacking me around. Pow 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 pow. Burn right back here in the back of the throat. Right there. A little, bit of, a little bit of heatness around the eyes. A little bit of heatness. That's a three all day. That's a three. 
I got to have some more of that, guys. Wow. This, this is one of the best sauces I've ever had. I'm not just saying that because I got sauce. I'm not going to lie to you. This is really, really good. But you did a great job. Great job on all of these sauces, sir. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go up to about three and a quarter on that one. Good tongue burn. Bit of a throat burn, a little bit of heat around the eyes. I'm not sweating. You guys, how many of you have ever seen me sweat? No, not many of you. I imagine if I drank that whole bottle, I would sweat, though. No, I might. You you tell him, Red. He's had him. That's, that's his uncle. He's had him. And I'm not lying at all. This is great stuff, guys. Um, you guys know all these big names we always got floating around out there, right? Well, this is much better than, I would say, 90% of those. Really? Yeah, really. I don't know how he's not gotten huge. And guys, if you guys will please share this. Get his name out there. Get this sauce company's name out there. We need this in our lives. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't ever had Butch's, then you need to get Butch's stuff. You have to. You got to. If you don't, you're missing out on a great thing. I am 100% completely satisfied with every one of those products. And every one of them has a different flavor. It's not like them. Yeah, this tastes like this one and this one. Yes, it's made by the same people, but it tastes exactly the same. It's not like that with these sauces. It's not. Excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Compliments to the chef, my man. Pepper Burke. All right. Duke. And made with love. And I say, I know, I know what's a heart, but a heart means love. Cleanse my powder a little bit. Guys, peaches in a bottle. I'm telling you, man, I can... I can't get enough of this. This isn't going to last. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all what happened. Dead soldier. Dead soldier, baby. That's how good that is. So. Hey, burrito night. I go into the refrigerator. You know, I got like, what, 500,000 bottles of sauce in there on this one shelf. And I reach back to get my favorite sauce to go on burritos. And what happens? The drawer falls out of the refrigerator. And I've got busted bottles all over the floor. I was sad. I was so sad. So, well, I guess the good thing that came out of that is that I now have room for more bottles. I'm going to have to get a refrigerator just to keep my hot sauces. Because this is a condiment family. I said condiment. Don't get, don't get that wrong. All right, dude, come on. Those of you guys tuning in that are new, Brad, what's going on, Brad? I need some more of that sauce, Brad. Bite out, Brad. So, 
my computer is like, okay, I'm not gonna let you scroll down. I don't care how much you want to. It ain't happening. Duke's Tankster. Those of you who are just tuning in that don't, don't know much about peppers or anything about tinctures, this is a tincture sent to me from the man of awesomeness himself, Duke Iman. And the tincture, there's a couple of ways to do it. Some people can use oil, others use alcohol. You take your hot peppers, you soak them in your favorite alcohol, over 80%. You suck the flavor, you suck the heat out of the peppers, and then you can add flavoring to it. Now, keep in mind, the more flavor you add to it, the weaker it's going to be. So, keep that in mind. All right. Anybody growing? Besides me, I know there's a lot of you that are growing this year. Those of you who are new to growing... I've heard a lot of ways to begin your grow, to germinating your seeds. I guess they might all work together. I do have hot sauce in my beard, and I'm going to suck that off there later. I'm going to save that. Um, I've, I've heard some people, you know, um, say they they put the seed in a wet paper towel, and they put it in a Ziploc bag, and... Yeah, um, I used to do that when I was a kid, when I was, but pepper seeds, don't do that. The best way to do it, get yourself, look at this, oh, it looks like honey, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, it ain't honey, I'm going to tell you that right now. The best thing to do is get you a Dixie cup. However many seeds, different types of plants, you're going to germinate. Get a Dixie cup for each type of seed. Boil, boil you some um, chamomile tea. Mix equal parts chamomile tea with your water. Pour it into the Dixie cup. Drop in your seeds. Okay. Within 24 hours, you need to get them seeds out and planted in your uh starter cubes whatever you're using that's all you got to do water them keep them water don't let them dry out keep them watered they will sprout you don't need to fertilize them until they get about oh three to four inches tall you can put some fur on them what i do i use i like miracle grow type of thing I add like one quarter teaspoon to a gallon of water and every time I spray them it gives them a little bit of food my plants are huge and healthy so that's a little tip for you guys all right so here we go dude I'm gonna get a little bit more here man I'm not gonna try to kill myself oh lord that might have been oh look at that Got them on. All right. But y'all know, hold on now. Mm -mm -mm. What a great smell, guys. So this is going to burn me up. Mm. Guys, this is hot. Let you know this is hot. My tongue is killing me. Whew. You want some good hot tincture? Good tasting tincture? Get up with Duke. He's got any more of this uh, handmade with love. Get you some of that. That's, that's four and a half right there. So far. Got me salaving. Got me salaving. But 
folks. Come on, I just talk like this. That hurts even worse when I do that. I'm starting to drool. Still no sweat yet. I don't know, a little bit of sheen going on up there. Okay, so it's peaked. That's four and a half going on five. Here it comes, guys. Same thing that happened last time. Endorphin rush, I could feel it. My head is humming. Don't need a bib. My head is humming right now. I'm telling you. So, and I don't want to ever do that again while I'm taking this tincture. No, that makes it even worse. I'm telling you, I'm getting the buzz off of this right now. My head is just floating. I can feel tingling in my fingers. My beard's tingling. Huh? I've got no tears yet now. But it's hot. It's already coming down.